They're all fun and games, but sometimes unusual things happen at amusement parks. The early days of the coronavirus had people taking all kinds of strange precautions. Back in April 2020, these parents weren't taking any chances. Before leaving for a Shanghai amusement park, the Junji family outfitted their two-year-old son in this inflatable suit. While other children ran around outside with just protective masks, this toddler waddled in the bulky suit looking like a tiny astronaut. His dad said at the time that his son wouldn't be able to understand the potential danger of the virus, so he couldn't be sure that the child wouldn't touch his face after touching public surfaces. Other than preventing him from blowing bubbles, the protective suit didn't seem to stop the boy from enjoying his day out with his family, although it did draw stares from other families. But some people use their time in quarantine to bring the amusement parks into their homes. Backyards hosted homemade roller coasters and outdoor bowling alleys. This family built an American Ninja Warrior course right in their garage, complete with monkey bars and a rock climbing wall. And I thought, I really have to think outside the box try to create a space where the kids could be physical, where they could work out. Passing the time in lockdown certainly seemed fun in these homes. In 2021, an Ohio amusement park wanted a celebrity to be the first to ride its new roller coaster. I want to have a happy little tree. He lives right there. So they got creative. The folks at King Island filled the car of the Orion Giga Coaster with plush toys made in the likeness of painter Bob Ross whose cult following reached icon status in recent years. The ride can go as fast as 90 miles per hour, but there were no excited screams to be heard on this go around. And if you're more interested in the dolls than the ride, you can win your own Bob Ross by playing one of the amusement park's many games. These thrill seekers experienced everyone's worst fear about stepping onto a roller coaster. They got stuck upside down halfway through the ride. It happened at Universal Studios in Japan in 2018, when the flying dinosaur left 60 passengers dangling upside down, 60 to 90 feet in the air for two whole hours. Park staff eventually came to free them, giving them helmets as they descended down the safety staircase, while the blood happily returned to their feet. I normally love roller coasters, but right now, I have a big knot in my stomach. In July 2021, Inside Edition sent producer Alicia Powers to try out a brand new ride said to be the tallest, fastest, and longest single rail roller coaster, the New Jersey Devil at Six Flags in New Jersey. Sit back tight, your arms and legs inside the car, and have fun. Alicia was all thumbs up upon leaving, but a few seconds later, she was fully in the devil's grip. Then came the hyped up 13 story drop. The whole ride lasted only 30 seconds, although it might have felt much longer. But Alicia took it like a champ. I survived! The people on this special roller coaster ride were not only screaming out of fear, but probably because they were cold. In 2015, 57 people stripped naked and rode Green Scream at Adventure Island in England, hoping to break a Guinness World Record. They fell way short because the previous record was set by 102 people riding the same roller coaster in 2010. But it was still a thrilling experience for this brave group, who decided to prolong their stunt by taking the coaster for a second spin. This theme park itself is unusual in that it was designed for people with special needs. Gordon Hartman started building Morgan's Wonderland in Texas back in 2007 for his daughter Morgan, who has cognitive and physical disabilities. Hartman says Morgan had trouble connecting with other people at the pool, so his parks are designed for all kids to come together and play. There was no place at least we could find. We was an ultra accessible, fully inclusive park. Each ride is wheelchair accessible and free for people with disabilities. While Morgan was the inspiration for this wonderland, many other people are able to enjoy all aspects of a theme park because of it. I'm so glad that um, Morgan being blessed with her has taken my life in this direction. Who wouldn't want to spend eternity at the happiest place on earth? 
Believe it or not, some Disney fans actually request that their ashes be spread at one of the company's theme parks. It felt right. It felt like, you know, this is what would have made my mom, what she would have wanted. Bonnie Jackson was one of those people, and when she died suddenly, her family set out to honor her wish. I'm pretty sure that it was my crazy sister that um, said, well, I think we just go to Disney. Her daughters and husband put her ashes in two pill bottles and emptied one at the Small World Ride, Bonnie's favorite. The other was to be spread at Bonnie's other favorite spot in the park. She had told us she wanted them on the front lawn of the Disney castle. However, when we got to Disney, there is no front lawn of the castle. <laughs> so we had to kind of improvise and there was like a side yard to the castle. And we're like, well, mom, I hope, I hope this is good enough. While they may be good daughters, they're also rule breakers. The Walt Disney Corporation says this type of behavior is strictly prohibited and unlawful. Guests who attempt to do so will be escorted off property. We didn't feel we were breaking the policies because it was only a little bit and it was our mom's wishes. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Mara Montalbano.